Hi everyone, I'm John from ProDake Labs and this is session number eight, Model Analysis. This video will teach you as how a model analysis works. What is model analysis? Model analysis is used to calculate the vibration characteristics such as natural frequency and deformed shape of a structure or machine component. The output of model analysis can be further used as input for harmonic and transient analysis. Let us have a look at this animation for better understanding. This video will help you to find out natural frequencies of a model. You can find out more than one natural frequency of a model depending upon the degrees of freedom available. The following steps are involved to perform a model analysis. Set the analysis preference. Create or import the geometry into ANSYS Workbench. Define element attributes. Define meshing attributes. Generate a mesh for the model. Specify the analysis type, analysis options, and apply loads. Obtain the solution. Review the results. Let's solve one problem to learn above skills. So let's get started. In this tutorial, you will create the model of a cantilever as shown in the figure. The dimensions of the model are given in the figure. You will generate the mesh with default global mesh control settings and find six natural frequencies and their respective mode shapes. The material used is structural steel. So that was brief introduction of this session. Now launch ANSYS Workbench and close the welcome window. Now drag and drop the model analysis system to the project schematic window. Rename the system as MA001. Now click on the Save button from the standard toolbar. A pop-up window appears. Browse to the location where you want to save the file. Next, enter the project name MA001 and click on Save button. Now, double-click on the geometry cell. The design modeler window along with the ANSYS workbench dialog box gets displayed. Select millimeter radio button in the ANSYS workbench dialog box and then choose OK button to specify millimeter as the unit for creating sketch. Next. Select XY plane from the tree outline to specify it as the sketching plane. Next, orient the view normal to the viewing direction. Invoke the sketching mode by clicking on sketching button. Next, choose the rectangle tool. And draw a rectangle from the plane center as illustrated. Now click on the Dimensions button. The general option is already selected by default. Now select horizontal and vertical lines of the rectangle. Change the H1 value to 20mm and V2 value to 5mm in the Details view window as shown. As a next step, select the Extrude tool from the standard toolbar. Then, click on Apply button in the View Detail and enter the Depth value as 140mm. Now, click on Generate button from the standard toolbar. Next, change the model orientation to ISO. Now, let us close the design modeler window. Now, the next step is to generate the mesh in the model. 
To do that, double click on the model cell and wait for some time to load the model. The mechanical window is displayed. Right click on the mesh from the tree outline and select the option Generate Mesh. The meshing operation is done with default values. You can see the element size is too big. We need to reduce the element size for precise results. Expand the sizing node if not already expanded. In the sizing node, enter 2.5 in the element size edit box and press enter button. Again right click on mesh from the tree outline and select generate mesh option. After the mesh is generated, you need to set the boundary conditions under which the analysis is to be performed. Right click on model node in the tree outline and then choose insert fixed support from the shortcut menu displayed. The details of fixed support window is displayed. Select the side face of the model. Next, choose the apply button from the geometry selection box. Fixed support is applied to the selected face. Now select analysis settings under the model node in the tree outline. The details of analysis settings window is displayed. Expand the options node if it is not already expanded. Enter 6 in the max nodes to find edit box. Now, the value is already specified by default, so no need to add the value. Also, make sure that option No is selected in the Limit Search to Range drop-down list. Under Solver Controls node, Damned option must be No. Right click on the solution node in the tree outline and then choose the solve option from the shortcut menu displayed. The analysis is solved. Select the solution node in the tree outline. Here it is already selected. Now the graph and tabular data windows are displayed. Right click in the graph window, a shortcut menu is displayed. Choose select all from this shortcut menu. Now the columns in the graph window are selected. Right click again in the graph window. Choose the create mode shape result option from the shortcut menu. Six total deformation results are added under the solution node in the tree outline. Right click on the solution node and then choose the evaluate all results from the shortcut menu displayed. Now select total deformation under the solution node in the tree outline. The first mode is displayed in the graphics screen. Choose the play button available in the animation area of the graph window. Similarly, select other results from the solution node to view the corresponding mode shape in the graphics screen. Right click on graphical window and select your preferred view orientation. The tabular window shows three columns in this window display the serial number, mode and frequency of the model.
Here, we can see the vibration pattern of structure for all the six nodes with all its deformation. After retrieving the results, you can now play the animation and save the file before you exit the ANSYS Workbench session. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.